the spirit of grace. Now, when the Bible says that this guy has done despite, are you with me? Oh my God. I say, are you with me? He has done despite. He has despised the spirit of grace. The reason why he is living in perpetual immorality, willfully, is because he despises the spirit of grace. The reason for which the spirit of grace was made available is to empower us to live above sin. So when you find a believer that is, is deep in sin, it is not because the solution for sin was not made, made available. The reason for which God made grace available is so that we will live above sin. The antidote for sin is the grace of God. In the book of Romans, are you still with me? So the spirit of grace is the investment that God makes available in order to undo the dominion of sin in the life of a believer. So just in case someone is living in sin and is a believer, the person is blind to the spirit of grace. He has not received the impartation of the spirit of grace. He has not, he has not seen the possibility. He has not seen the potential. He has not seen the purpose for which God made grace available. And he decided not to see it willingly. Not because it is not littered everywhere around his life. The spirit of grace is the sign designed by God to take us beyond the scope of our infirmities, the scope of our weaknesses, and to give us the capacity to walk in victory over the same things that will bedevil the fallen man. Are you with me? Seeing has the ability to deceive. Sin will normally come with its products and advertise and show you the capacity, the pleasure that are attached to its products. If you accept the doctrine of deception that sin brings, it is because your eyes were closed to the capacity and the victory that is attached to the spirit of Grace. You know, I told you that grace is not a picture of Samson and Delilah. The picture of grace is Joseph and Potiphar's wife. Because that I want to believe that Potiphar's wife has they've had some servants before Joseph came. And because of her beauty, none of them could resist the offer. For the first time in her life, she saw a young man that was not willing to take what she was offering. Are you following her? It was grace. A man that has found the spirit of grace can walk on sin like this. And he will not be contaminated. Because he has an enablement from God that swallows up his infirmity. Oh, one of the most powerful scriptures in the Bible that I will never stop quoting is the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 26. The Spirit helpeth our infirmities. There's an activity of the Spirit of God that swallows up our weaknesses. When you allow God to come into your space, the Bible says that it is God that walks in us. That means God does not go to sleep. He's always in the workshop. And part of the things he's doing in the workshop is that he's changing our taste boards. He knows that you had so many liabilities before you gave your life to Christ. You had sampled so many women before you said yes to Jesus. And the appetite for fair women is still very big. So when you come under the government of the Holy Spirit, part of what it begins to do in you is that it begins to change your taste buds, begins to change the things you desire. The context of your desire is altered 
because grace is at work on your inside. The things that you used to like, I don't know about you, but I, I love soccer, soccer, football. Jesus, I must watch it. When grace, it was, it, be, it became an idol, something that could take the place of God totally in my life. And when God saw it, he began to engineer something inside and he began to change the taste board. Until, I didn't even know when I came to the point where football no longer interested me. It was a work of God that was inside that ate up the desire for football in my life so that his place would not be taken by football. You understand that? So God begins to give you fresh desires, begins to give you fresh visions, begins to give you fresh, fresh insights, fresh convictions. And your life begins to move from that place where you were a slave of sin to a place where you no longer desire it. What I speak about takes a process of time. And if you can allow the Holy Spirit, that's the kind of man he will make you.